Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm not gonna do the 100 coin stars just yet because I would like to make some progress on being able to get every star in every world as soon as I enter the world. So I'm gonna start by going in this 8 star door up here and it says it slowly opens but it doesn't really open that slowly. <laughs> but anyway I need something beyond this door in order to get the stuff unlocked that I want to unlock. But hey, there's a peach picture down there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This, this looks ominous. This looks... Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. So, this is Bowser in the Dark World, and there are eight red coins to find for one of the castle's secret stars, of which I'm going to do right away here. In order to get that one that seems to be floating in the middle of nowhere, you gotta hit this switch, and work your way back carefully. Just, you got plenty of time to do so. There we go. Seriously? <laughs> Well, it is technically the hardest coin in that level, so I guess I don't blame myself for dying there. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. I will get all eight red coins. I will save the princess. I will get that cake. And by cake, I mean booty. By booty, I mean possibly red coins. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now for the other one, which is very similar in uh, in collection, except you have more time to do it. It's just that there's this one, it's a single block here, and yeah, you just gotta avoid the flame. There we go. And you can actually sneak up that slope by jumping up there quickly, this one here, to take a shortcut. But... Nah, I'm not that advanced. <laughs> I'm just going to take the normal routes around here, just so I can carefully look around for... Oh yeah, combo attack! Look around for red coins. Ah, screw it, that's kind of risky. <laughs> it's getting close to the edge, and I already fell off somehow on my own. Here's an amp. If you touch them, they electrocute you. They're a very classic Mario enemy since then. They're your, your sort of patrolling enemy, so to speak. Okay, over here, you gotta look out for the red coin on that side. And I like to get it when the platform is going in that direction, like so, and then drop down when it's going back in the other direction. It kind of pushes you towards the wall and it allows you to recover easier. But this one, I like to stand right about here, just wait for the platforms to go around. There you go. <laughs> and pass between the platforms. This is probably your first real platforming challenge in the game because it's this stage is kind of like a boss stage of sorts and it's got the if you dare to collect the red coins on your first run it's got some trickiness going on here so you gotta look out for that amps patrolling this area what's in here another one up wow you're pretty generous <laughs> six i'm going to very carefully work my way back. Remember that the less you push the control stick, the slower you will move, which is immensely helpful. And there we go. Uh, it, I think I have to get up to the higher areas for the next red coin, so I gotta get myself up here. And I really hope I didn't miss any. Okay, I didn't. Oh, I should have. And oh, wait, the star is up ahead, so I'm gonna have to come back anyway. Okay. Um. I forgot how to get up there. Can I like... No! I can't. <laughs> That's why I did it over this platform. Just in case I would fail, so I wouldn't fall to my doom. Alright, so I got seven. I forgot how to get the eighth. Goombas, do you guys know how to get the eighth coin from over there? It's... I'm kind of puzzled at the moment. I could possibly wall kick my way up there, but that wall kicking in this game is... Eh. <laughs> It's not my cup of tea, so to speak. This makes stairs appear, but that's not thats not what I need to do here. Um, let's try and do something like this. That works. Good. Woo! And there's one of the secret stars. Do not fail. Do not 
failed. <laughs> Just carefully make your way up, PK Gam. No pressure. Good. You are doing well. And, oh, there's a sign here which teaches you how to defeat Bowser, which I will check. Mario, it's Peach! Please be careful! Bowser is so wicked, he will try to burn you with this horrible flame breath! Run around behind him, grab him with his, by the tail with the B button! Once you grab hold, swing him around in great circles! Rotate the controls to go faster and faster! The faster you swing him, the farther he'll fly! Use the C buttons to look around, Mario! You have to throw Bowser into one of the bombs in the four corners! Aim well. Then press B again to launch Bowser! Good luck, Mario! Our fate is in your hands! The first, a star! Woo! Here we go. It doesn't poop you out of the stage uh, when you get a star in one of the Bowser stages. Uh, I think that's because they don't want you to go all the way through the stage again, so it's rather handy. Anyway, let's flop down the warp pipe, and... Oh boy! Top lock, Mario! Princess Toadstool isn't here. Whoa. She's in another castle. Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never! Ha! So, this is Bowser. There's a bunch of bombs around the, as she said, four corners of the arena, but there's a lot of dots there, and there's a lot of actual corner corners, so there doesn't seem to be all that... I mean, there seems to be more than just four corners in this place. Uh, his fire spews out coins, so you can technically get an unlimited amount of coins in this area if you're into that high score sort of thing. I'm waiting for him to do some other attacks so I can show you what else he does. But he just seems to be intent on just spewing fire. Jump, there we go, jump up in the air. And that stuns you if you don't uh, jump off the ground, do it again. That's what it's like when you get stunned. Alright, now, what you want to do here is grab him by the tail. And switch the camera so that it's pointing towards one of the bombs, rotate the control stick, and then when Bowser's facing a bomb, press the B button. And it's over. <laughs> yeah, the boss fight is really that easy. Urgh, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And he teleports, and a key bursts out of him, which you can use to access the basement. Woo! This will give us access to a lot more worlds, and I'm going to use this key to have to open up the other switches, the green and blue switches in this part. That way, when I go to other worlds, I'll be able to get every single star in a world in order as I go without having to worry about... Um, worry about having the switches being off or something like that. Anyway, go down here, and this is the key that we just got. A little emulation texture error with the little line between the lock, but that is okay. Um, this door takes 30 stars. It takes the power of 30 stars to open this door. You need 13 more. Okay, thank you, Bowser. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is... Oh, actually, I should show you, uh, before I do this, uh, the water out in the castle moat. I didn't really explore that, so I might as well do that now, since I'm in a uh, exploring kind of mood here, I guess you could say, because uh, I'm doing some side stuff to unlock stuff for the future anyway. So, down here is the castle moat, as I said. Um, you'll notice that there are the aforementioned doors that you cannot open while underwater. And uh, what I'm going to be doing here is draining out this water. <laughs> oh, and if you collect those two coins up there, you get a one-up. But I'm kind of unsure how you get them, unless you, like, triple jump off the bottom of the, the moat. And then uh, get the coins, like, off a wall kick or something like that, because you can't... I don't think you can get those from the water. I'll, I'll give that a try, but I just know that you can get um, uh, a one-up from collecting those coins. But those coins just seem too far up to uh, get with your normal jump. I'm swimming up the 
current. Yeah, yeah. see, that's way too high. All right, so back in I go. And I don't think I even show uh, this side of the uh, outside of the castle. And I also think I call the outside of the castle a courtyard. Why is Mario swimming so sluggishly, anyway? <laughs> I'm pressing the button in rhythm, anyway. Oh, I missed a sign here. Signpost! Direct me in the correct direction. I was already taught this, didn't I? Yes, I was. This was in the uh, first world. Anyway, enough time wasted. I'm going to go in the basement now, officially. And uh, show you what I mean about draining the water. And this, this is by far one of the most important things to do in this game, because if you don't have all the switches unlocked, you know, the, the red, green, and blue switches, uh, you will not be able to get all the stars in the game, so yeah. Anyway, just go around here, and there's a rabbit, which I'll take care of later. I'm gonna go through this door, which leads to a swimming sequence. Up, oh, camera, camera, there we go. The arrows say that way, but they're actually going in both directions. Don't know why that that's like that, but eh. yeah, it's just so that you can, they're telling you to like walk up the slope. Uh, there's a sign here that hints at what you're supposed to do. It is decreed that one shall pound the pillars. By pillars, they mean these things. Both of these. And it drains the water out. Now remember the castle moat? That door? This is the door. It really is the door. See it? Yep. Now over here, there is a little something something for you. This hole right here. And there's also a waterfall I didn't show you earlier, but that's okay. That's not all that important. And this is the Vanish Cap Switch Course. All the blue blocks you find will become a solid once you step on the cap switch. Your lists appear when you put on the Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out! Uh, starting out, out with the slope here... Uh, oops, I <laughs> hit my Xbox controller button instead of the pause button. It's called Vanish Cap Under the Moat. And I would like to switch the camera to a way that I can see where I'm going. See, you gotta get get the red coins on the way down, and you gotta know where you are going to! You don't have to worry about the Vanish Cap uh, running out, because it's not important that it's active right now. Uh, you just need to carefully work your way down here. Okay, save myself from fall damage. One up for the win! Uh, another one up over there. As I said, you can't get those red coins after you fall down because you kind of can't go back up the slope. So be sure to get them all as you're going down here, otherwise you will regret it. Here's number four, and I think that was the last one. Uh, woo, don't make me fall. Um, whenever you are burnt by something, I should show this off, you start running uncontrollably, like so. <laughs> Um, if you want to have more control over that, what you should do is jump in place and you will be able to control yourself much more strongly. Anyway, I'm going to move on that I showed you that mechanic. And continue down the road of despair. Well, actually, I hope it's going to be the road of victory in all honesty. And more coins. I guess that's just to recover your health in case you had issues with the flamethrower dudes. Oh, shoot. Oh, coin on both ends! Why? They're so treacherous. Oh, pain! <laughs> yes, I did that on purpose, but I didn't mean to jump onto it from that high up. Oh, jeez. They're gonna flip over... yes. And we gotta get over to... there we go. And that should do it. The last coin is inside a cage. Of which... no, no, no! Oh, jeez! Oh, I got lucky there. And there is the blue switch, the Vanish Cap switch. It makes Mario disappear when you put on the Vanish Cap inside that blue block right there. Yes, I will save. And I'm gonna need that to get inside- Oh, it's not- Oh, the red coin isn't actually in that cage. Anyway, I need the Vanish Cap to be able to get inside that cage. If you end up stuck in there, you actually gotta use that hole to get yourself out of there. But uh, when you're using the Vanish Cap, you can van uh, vanish, you can move through certain objects like cages. Anyway, there's the star! Here we go! Yeehaw! 
Alright, now I'm going to rush down over to the Hazy Maze Cave to unlock the uh, uh, metal cap as well. So I'm going to go back over to here. <laughs> going to go back over to the basement and uh, go into a world I'm not even going to be collecting any stars in really early on just so that I can unlock the cap for this. Um, I guess I'll take this door because it's a, a different route through the basement. What I want to do here is go through here. See the store with the star? It's off to the right side of the basement. Yes, I know there's a toad over here with a star, but I'm not, I'm not covering that right now, so Toad can just sit there hopping all day if it wants to. So anyway, this is the Hazy Maze Cave, in which I'm not going to collect any stars in whatsoever. I'm... well, I am going to collect the star, but it's counted as a castle secret star. I'll read all these signs on my next way through here, but in, in my first way through, just follow my lead here and, uh, trust that I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> Uh, so you want to go over to the underground lake. I hate those boulders. They it, they aren't they don't aim for you, but at the same time, it always seems like they they go where you are. <laughs> anyway, over here is an elevator. I should probably recover my health a little bit. Um, go right down, and I'm too impatient for this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down here. And here is the cave with a little dino buddy that's floating around in here, of which I need. Where are you actually? Oh, there you are. I need to go on top of a platform and I need your help. And you are going to help me. So, this guy moves around in the direction that you're facing. So if you want him to turn left, you face left. And you want him to go towards that door over there. Over there. Ah, no, 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 don't turn that way. Don't. No, 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 this way, this way. Good boy. Ground pound. Make his head go down, and then when you get to the top, he'll rise his head up, and then you can make this jump. And over here is the switch that I'm looking for. Look at that. It's another pool of mercury. That certainly seems healthy to go inside. Welcome to the Metal Cap Switch course! Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it! Indeed I will later. These are sniffets of the flying kind, and when you are metal like that, you're pretty impervious to uh, just about anything, except for like bottomless pits or something like that. So, uh, being metal is pretty dang handy. What's the sign say? Metal Cavern, right to the waterfall. Left to metal cap switch. Uh, this poops you out by that waterfall that you've seen uh, back. <laughs> nice twitchy camera. Back over where I got the blue switch a little while ago. Alright, this current. Oh jeez. <laughs> I missed time my A plus Z there. I mean Z plus A. Pain! Dang, sniff it. And I don't want to go in the water because that's that might be dangerous because I'm in very floaty mode and I'm not in metal mode. So I don't think I'll be able to recover myself easily. Just collect the red coins along the way. Mm, notice the beautiful metal scenery. You know, like the um, iron crystals around here. Hit the switch because you're going to... <laughs> I kind of screwed up the cutscene there because I grabbed onto the edge of the switch. You just stepped on the metal cap switch. The metal cap makes Mario invincible. Now metal caps will pop out of all the green blocks you find. Let's save. Alright. So let's get all the uh, red coins. The other ones are underwater, of which, as I said, I'm going to need the metal cap for, which is why I hit the switch. So, put that metal cap on, and start rusting away. Okay, you won't really rust, but that, this is where the uh, last four red coins are. And there we go. Woo! And grab it. And go. Here we go. Yeah. And with that, all the switches are unlocked, which means that everything is going to be so much easier for both you and uh, and myself. So this is a good time to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.